monsters, mighty armies, and epic deeds. Lead your culture through the ages, from humble beginnings in a small village to mighty citadels protected by the power of the gods. Tear down the walls of Troy. Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard. And fight armies of Anubis in the shifting sands of Egypt. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great, earth-changing powers in the age of mythology. Your first adventure in Age of Mythology Retold. Our hero, Arkantos, sent a scouting party to find the warlord Theris, but enemy forces have cornered his men. We must rescue them. Help! Look out! A manticore watches the road from the cliffs. Your heroes... This... Excellent work! This space will trouble you no more. Did Veris manage to escape? To find out, continue Arcantos' journey in the Fall of the Trident campaign. That looked like Veris. It has been a long time since you sent him to the Underworld, Arcantos. Fighting old battles again? Yes. Old enemies. I still see them here. You have won more battles for Atlantis than can be counted. Faced opponents no other man dared fight. That was long ago. Today Atlantis' enemies live only in my dreams. I face feeble pirates now. Is that what you believe, Atlantean? Atlantis still has enemies, and you are still the one who will face them. Any who threaten my home or my family will soon have a place in my dreams. These are enemies unlike the others, Arkantos. Do not let your guard down. Dark times are coming, and you are needed. Arkantos. Arkantos. Awaken. Admiral! Sir. Yes? We've sighted land on the horizon. We should reach Atlantis soon. Excellent. It will be good to see my son Castor again. You cannot ignore the omens, Arkantos. Lord Poseidon's displeasure is clear. We must help break the siege at Troy. Troops we send now will be lucky to arrive before the fight is over. Even if they do, their only task will be to show the banner of Atlantis, not a task for an admiral. It would shame Agamemnon if we sent one of your junior officers. He already complains that we do not pay enough attention to the Greek colonies. No, it must be you! What? Next. Castor, stay here! Another message from Poseidon, Arkantos. His creatures helped the pirates. Father, they stole the trident. What? Yes, it was stolen during the fighting. Come, Os. There could not be a clearer sign, Arkantos. We are losing Poseidon's favor. We must act. I will go to Troy as you ask. I'm going to get that trident back on the way. Zethos, take supplies aboard and get the men together. We're setting sail. Can I come? No, I need you here in case they come back. Don't worry, this errand will not take long. Perhaps setting out on this errand really was all that was needed to appease Poseidon. Black sails, port side! And he leads us to Kamos, too. Archers, ready your bows! Prepare to come about! 
They're going to pay for insulting Poseidon and Atlantis. For another time, Arkentos! Your luck will end! And I will be there to see it! Your head will hang from my mast, Atlantean! At least one of Poseidon's children still favors our enemies. Load the trident aboard the transport! We'll send it back to Atlantis immediately! Arcantos! By the gods! I did not expect Mother Atlantis would send her best admiral to fight for me. Gracious words, King Agamemnon. And look at this. Ajax, I'm surprised to see you still drawing breath. These Trojan dogs keep trying, my friend. <laughs> Good to see you again. Who did you upset to get sent so far from home? Well, someone had to come and help you put an end to this. Helen is held behind their walls, and we've had little luck breaking through. We are about to change that. You have arrived in time for our final push, Arcantos. Get your men ashore. You can make your camp to the east, but be careful. The Trojans have some scouts in that area. When you are done, we will start preparations for our assault. Ah, and here he comes, Odysseus, a champion of Atlantis, sent to fight in my army. Join us, Arcantos. You know the famous Odysseus, surely. I know of him. Your reputation precedes you. As does yours. Are you ready for the siege? We could use your advice in planning our attack. As the commander here, I have already taken care of the plans, Odysseus. You and Arcantos will take your armies and start the siege of the gates. That's a fine start. What about the other armies? Ajax and I will keep our men in reserve. When you get through, Ajax will rush his men in to clear out the Trojan defenders. Then I will enter and rescue Helen. Send word to Ajax. The gate is down. He must move. Sir, the Trojans are attacking the camp. Ajax is surrounded. What? <laughs> Odysseus, we must rescue them. We've regained control here, Ajax. Let's rally the men and resume the attack on Troy. Arcantos! Ajax! Agamemnon has been attacked! The Trojans must have hit Agamemnon while we were fighting here. Pull the men back. We'll meet at the main base camp and see how bad it is. Curse Troy and those who dwell within her walls. They torched our food stores and tents, even most of the ships. We'll be lucky to even escape here now. Escape? We just broke down one of the gates! We should be pressing our attack, not talking of escape! The Trojans aren't going to wait for that. Surely they will attack again at any moment! Not if they think we've left. Poseidon is the lord of horses. In Atlantis, a defeated general surrenders his horse when beaten. A horse? Yes, a great wooden horse. Uh, I don't understand. Will it fight? We can have this done quickly and we don't have to rebuild any of the siege. Arkantos, I will need your help. Move the horse into position, quickly! Agamemnon, take the boats and men and sail just out of sight. Arkantos, Ajax, and I will man the horse. When night falls, sail back. We'll have the gate open for you. I am glad you scheme for me, Odysseus. I will return at nightfall.
Where to now, Arcantos? Back to Atlantis. This was a welcome break from chasing pirates, but I need to return home. Well, pirates or not, you need to get your boats repaired. You don't think they can make it to Atlantis? No. There is a port not far from here, Yoklos. I'm sailing there. I can show you the way and get someone to work on your ships. And he strides among the treetops, and is taller than the trees, and his voice through all the garden, his thunder sent to bring. What is it, Kemsit? Kamos has returned, sir. He lost the trident. He says the Atlantean was headed for Troy. The battle there will not last much longer once he joins the Greeks. The siege of Troy is already over. Zeus could still interfere. Do you question me, Kemsit? No, everything is exactly as you said it would be. The fortress, the tunnel, Troy. Giants and the genii, multiplex of wing and eye, whose strong obedience broke the sky. Send Kamos. I want to speak with him. Yes, General. This does not look good. What happened? Run! More bandits! Bandits! No, you old fool. We are your own army. We returned from Troy. Pray, Zeus. The soldiers have returned. Yes. Now what happened here? After the army sailed for Troy, bandits attacked the city. They took our men hostage. Chiron, too. Who is Chiron? He does the bidding of the gods. He said a hero would come to save us. That does not ease my mind. Perhaps we should go find him, see what he knows about this. Bring the city to us. You're welcome. We did not find the other prisoners, however. The bandits were led by a man called Kemsit. He marched the prisoners to the North Road. Those guarding us spoke of putting them to work, building something there. Ajax, gather our troops. We'll take whatever stores we have in the ships and whatever these people can offer. This isn't... Chiron, have you gotten us lost? Of course not. I've walked this road many times. I've never seen this before, however. It's recent construction. The cuts on the stones are not weathered. It doesn't look like something your average bandit would build. Where are the men from Ioclos? Within, perhaps. Let's find out. Scout the area and find what resources are available here. They rush in red and purple from the red clouds of the morn. From the temples where the yellow gods shut up their eyes in scorn. I will warn you this once. Enough babbling, coward. Come face me. Atlantis does not fear the likes of you. It should. I have warned you. Continue to pursue me, and I will spare neither you, nor your city, nor your son. A giant fortress in the middle of the countryside, protecting a huge pit which leads here. And a cyclops that rains fire on us from the skies. I'm starting to think this might not be a bandit we're dealing with, Chiron. Where is here? This is Erebus, the realm of Hades. We've passed into the underworld. What? A gate? What do you think is behind it? I don't know, but if our Cyclops friend wants to open it, I think we want it to stay closed. We've got to destroy that ram. Call for reinforcements at once! <laughs> this is interesting. I would have thought you smarter than to ignore my warning. Fortunately, there are other routes to Tartarus. 
so this one can be closed. <laughs> lifetime to tunnel through this. The Cyclops said there were other ways into the underworld. That means there are other ways out. Shades. The dead. We are strangers to this realm, but they know it well. They can show us the way out of this place. Temples. Arkantos, the gods have favored you before. Perhaps one of them will now, if you ask. We are lucky that one of these honors Poseidon. It is no use. Why does Poseidon not respond? Perhaps it is another who favors you. What of Zeus? The first gate to Tartarus. And if you had killed the Atlantean when he came to take the trident back from you, we would have. What if he escapes the underworld? What if he does? He isn't going to gather an army and bring it to Egypt before I've let the old one out. What of the Egyptian gods? Only Osiris would stand against us, and Kemsit claims Set has seen to him. Excellent! If Arkantos does manage to escape Arabus, he will not escape me again. He had better not. Poseidon wishes his sons return to power. No man from Atlantis will stop this. The Egyptians, there are three things to remember. First, the Pharaoh is one of your most important units. He can be tasked to empower different buildings in your town. Empowered buildings train military units, research improvements, and attack faster. Laborers, fishing ships, and camel caravans will drop off more resources at empowered buildings. The Pharaoh can also empower foundations, speeding their construction. In combat, your Pharaoh is very strong against myth units. You only have one pharaoh, so use him well. Second, the Egyptians gain favor by building monuments. Five different monuments are available, but you can only build one of each. You will gain favor faster with each new one constructed. Each major god provides a unique bonus to your monuments, so place them wisely. Finally, most Egyptian buildings are either free or cost gold. However, they take a long time to construct. Remember that your pharaoh can empower a foundation to speed this process. So you have no idea where we are? Admiral! What are you doing here? We're lost. And unlucky, too. I am Amanra. Prepare your men. We have to defend this area. Defend it against what? This oasis holds treasures beyond water. A relic is buried here. My enemies are on their way to try to take it. What does that have to do with us? Look around. Those passes are the only entrance to this oasis. Escape through them, and you will run headlong into the worshippers of Set. You can choose to die there, or fight here with me. You heard the lady! The Sword of the Guardian, used by Horus to defeat Set once before. Now one of his followers, Kemsit, seeks to take it. Kemsit? He is your enemy. He has captured the temple to Osiris near here. There is a guardian at the temple. But it sleeps. If we return the sword to the Guardian, it will awaken. It seems the gods have smiled on us.
This box contains a god? A piece of a god, Osiris. Set tricked him and had him killed. His body was cut into pieces and scattered across the sands of Egypt. Kemsit was in the process of trying to destroy this one completely. If Osiris is dead, what good is a piece of his body? It is not easy to kill a god. Osiris is dead, but not dead. If we can reunite his body, he will live again. However, if Kemsit succeeds in destroying a single piece, all is lost. Be quiet back there! We have walked into an ambush. Get the Osiris piece to the city! Arkantos and his men have been ambushed in the Anira canyon pass. We must rescue them! Time is short. Quickly prepare an army and send it into the pass before Kemsit can escape with the Osiris piece! Leos? What is special about this place? It is the center of Osiris's kingdom. That is his palace. Now, I need to get the piece to Setna. Setna is already a guest of ours. And now, you are too. Take them to the prison! Isis, hear my plea. I have been betrayed by a servant of Set. Send your blessing upon me, and I will have vengeance! Etna, all the other priests of Osiris were imprisoned too? Some were left to die in the desert. But why did he want to kill Osiris? Then you truly do not know. You always seem to hide behind something when I see you, Cyclops. You interrupted me in Greece, escaped the underworld, and arrived here before me. There is no way you did this on your own. I will know which gods support you, now! Lord Poseidon watches over all the people of Atlantis. Lord Poseidon? <laughs> You're more a fool than I expected. Let's see if he's watching over you now. You may feel less like fighting after I pull off your head. I will deal with you all in due time. We have more pressing matters to attend to at Osiris's Pyramid. We must recover the piece of Osiris before we leave. We have to hurry. Gargarensis and Kemsit will soon have their troops out. We still have some allies here. Not all have turned to worship Set. Yes, I have friends here. They will help us. I have arranged for transports to meet us here at the prison. We must hold this position until they arrive. We are safe here for now. We will plan in the morning. You have done well. Now I must prepare you for the rest of your journey. Zeus is all-powerful now, but it was not always so. Ages ago, the Titans ruled the universe under Kronos, and humanity suffered under their harsh rule. Castor! Follow me, father. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades did battle with the Titans in a great war. Kronos and the Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, the deepest part of the underworld. Zeus came to rule over all the heavens. Poseidon envies his brother's domain and wishes it for himself. Kronos knows this and tempts Poseidon with promises of power if he is released. Poseidon? No. Yes. There are several places where one can enter Tartarus, but Zeus sealed them all with adamantine doors. These can only be opened by a mortal's hands. Gargarensis. The gate. That's what we saw when we entered Erebus in Greece. Yes. Gargarensis believes that if he helps the Titans return, Poseidon and Kronos will make him immortal as a reward. Destroy this land. Your enemy lies across the sea, father. Your fleet awaits.
Zeus cannot interfere directly, or it will touch off a war amongst all the gods. That is why you are here. Make no mistake, if Kronos escapes, this will be Atlantis, and all you love will be lost. Arkantos, are you all right? Yes, just a bad dream. Come, join us. It is time to plan our attack. Let me make sure I understand. Osiris's pyramid guards another passage to the underworld? Yes. If we can reunite the body of Osiris, he will live again. We have one piece. There are three more which must be found and brought here. We have to split up. Amonra, you, Chiron, and I will divide our forces and recover the other pieces. Ajax, you come with me. Hmm. Is that the place? Yes. Kemsit's stronghold. The peace is inside. Are the men prepared? Yes, Amandra. Good. If Kemsit is there, no one is to touch him but me. The farmers must be weary of their island neighbor. Perhaps they will help us. Yuir. I have something I've been meaning to give you since you first ran from me at the temple, Kemsit. I'd like nothing better than to drain your blood into the sand, Amanra. But I cannot waste time with you now. Coward! Your time will come, Amanra. Soon. North of here. A great tamarisk tree grows from the riverbank. In its trunk, we will find the head of Osiris. Chiron, soldiers approach. I am Njord Seer. We're following the One Eye. We've tracked him all the way from Midgard. The One Eye? Gagarensis. The Cyclops. Aye, he has united the giants. Up north, much of Midgard now lies in ruin. We were sent to follow him in hopes of preventing Ragnarok. Ragnarok? The end of the world. Have you seen the One Eye? He is here. We are fighting against him as well. Will you join us? We will. Ajax, Black Sails. Those are Kamos's pirates. Do you think Kamos is here? He's here. Gargarensis would want Kamos watching over the peace personally. Then he's gonna have a really bad day. Kamos is- What was that you said before? Something about hanging my head from your ship? Your head will still decorate a mast, even if I'm not the one to lash it there! So, you failed me again, Kemsit. There was nothing I could do, General. Kamos is dead. And you're about to join him. Can you at least deliver me the army you promised? The passage to the underworld will soon be open, and you know what manner of creatures lurk within. They are traveling along the coast now. They will be here soon. I'm going to ride out and motivate them to travel faster. What should I do? Keep the men digging if they reach the underworld. Pray to Poseidon that you can hold off whatever comes out until I return. The scouts have sighted Amandra and Chiron. They have the pieces of Osiris with them. What of Arkantos? No word, sir. It is getting late. We must start and hope that Arkantos arrives in time. Send the signal. That's the signal. That's what we were waiting for. 
We must bring the pieces of Osiris together near the pyramid. Only then can he be reborn. All the pieces are here. Why does nothing happen? It takes time. Well, make it take less time. I'm glad you've all gathered here. You're just in time. And I'm glad you've brought the pieces of Osiris with you. Do you see now? Nothing happens. Your god is dead. What? No! <laughs> And with my two feet, taken possession! Nogarensis still breathes! Come on! We are too late. There is another gate, to the north. That's where they're headed. Aye. My home. Find us a ship, Amonra. That ship belongs to Odysseus. From the looks of it, Poseidon hasn't been kind to him. Bring us around. We'll go ashore and see if there's any sign of him. <laughs> if Odysseus landed here, at least he's eating well. Ajax, wait. The pigs. They don't look... something is wrong. Ajax! Archantos! Help! I thought I'd end my days as a pig on this miserable island. I owe you for rescuing me, but I must return home. Thank you, Archantos. You owe us nothing, friend. We can spare a ship for you and your men to sail home in. There are three things to remember when playing the Norse. Instead of building stationary drop sites, Norse gatherers and dwarves construct mobile ox carts. Ox carts serve as drop-off points for all resources and can be moved around the map. They can also research economic improvements. Second, the Norse gain favor through battle. They simply fight to please their gods. Whenever a Norse soldier or ship is fighting enemy units, your favor will increase. Certain units, like the Hersir, a type of Norse hero, generate favor faster than others. Finally, Norse foot soldiers can construct and repair buildings. Norse gatherers and dwarves can only construct certain buildings, such as farms and houses. Use foot soldiers to construct new buildings when and where you need them. At least Gargarensis has made his path clear. This is the pass we seek. Beyond is Midgard. I hope it is warmer in Midgard. The North is full of tangled things, and texts, and aching eyes. And dead is all the innocence of anger and surprise. <laughs> The avalanche has scattered our men. Our we'll have to find another way through. We are being watched. Where? Wait here. What do you think, Itri? We are running out of time. What choice do we have? What do you think they'll want? What are you little men doing up here? Ah! Oh! Uh, your help! We need your help. Then come out of the shadows and speak with us. 
Our forge has been invaded by giants. We need your army to drive them out. I'm sorry we don't have time to help you right now. Wait. Can you reach Midgard from your forge? Of course. Our forge is deep under the mountains, and our mines go all the way through. You'll help us then. If you deliver us into Midgard. Excellent. Come. The mine entrance is this way. The forge is yours again. I think I've had enough of the giants. Oh, you'll have plenty more giants in Midgard. Come, we'll show you the way. Most of you aren't Norsemen. Why are you going to Midgard? An enemy of ours has come here. He is looking for an entrance into the Underworld. We must stop him. The Underworld? Niflheim? Well, good luck. This is the way to Midgard. We must return to our forge. Do you think they'll find the passage into Niflheim? Who else are we going to follow? Come, let's get everything together quickly. First the fair clan raids us. Now these giants come down from the hills. Be quiet. Another giant is coming this way. What kept you? It took our cantos longer to get to the pass than we expected. Has Loki taken care of our opposition? Yes, there is a god who watches over these people. But Loki found the source of his strength, a hammer, and destroyed it! He has no power without it. Excellent. I may not have to kill you after all, Kempsit. Let's go. Come. Come, come. Warm yourself by old Skull's fire. Have you seen a giant with a single eye come past, old man? If you're looking for giants, we have plenty. Ragnarok, he's nigh. The final battle. As soon as the Norsemen started fighting one another, all the giants came out of the hills to join in. Maybe we could convince some of these Norsemen to stop fighting each other and join us. <laughs> they would kill strangers as soon as they sighted them. I do have the banner of my own village. If you carry it before you, they'll stop fighting long enough to hear you out. But you won't change any minds. It seems worth a try. The pass between here and the clans is full of giants, but if you promise to keep me safe from them, I'll go with you. Giants are attacking! Come, come, come. Warm yourself by old Skull's fire. Have you seen a giant with a single eye come past, old man? If you are looking for giants, we have plenty. Ragnarok, he's nigh. The final battle. As soon as the Norsemen started fighting one another, all the giants came out of the hills to join in. Maybe we could convince some of these Norsemen to stop fighting each other and join us. <laughs> They would kill strangers as soon as they sighted them. I do have the banner of my own village. If you carry it before you, they'll stop fighting long enough to hear you out. But you won't change any minds. It seems worth a try. The pass between here and the clans is full of giants, but if you promise to keep me safe from them, I'll go with you. Look, they've stopped fighting. The banner works. I do not believe my eyes. Fullstag's men dare come here? Fullstag ate my cattle and hurled my cabin into the river. Kill them! Kill them all! Skult, why did they... 
Treachery. You carry the banner of Falstag, a giant who raids the people in this region. That is why they attacked you. It's an old trick. It's one of the ways Loki gets the Norsemen to fight one another. Who are you? She is Regenleaf, a servant of Odin. She's trying to stop Ragnarok. It was she who sent us to track Gargarensis. That's right. And he is close. There are a few more clans in the next valley. If they still live, we might be able to convince them to join us. We do not have much time. Then we should go. You can leave the banner here. Help us! The trolls are attacking! How long ago did the army of Gargarensis pass through here? Not long. A few days, perhaps. They went to the mountains to the north and started building walls and fortresses. Then that is the entrance to the Underworld. He has already reached the gate. If he opens that gate, your Ragnarok will happen. We must stop him! Do not let the appearance fool you. The well will take us to Niflheim. You go first, Chiron. If you fall screaming to your death, we'll just stay here. Ugh. When you decide which of you will go first, I'll be waiting at the bottom. That sound is becoming familiar. Gargarensis already sieges the gate! What if the gates open? Then we get to be a part of Ragnarok. Kronos is not an enemy you can fight with mere weapons. Our only chance is to stop Gargarensis before he opens the gates and releases him. We must go. There is nothing we can do for him. All of you, take cover! Someone is coming! Chiron was a great warrior. We will not forget his sacrifice. What do we do now? Wait. What is this? You? How did you get here? We... we followed you. Why didn't you just come with us? Loki, he tries to fool us. Our mission is too important to trust strangers. What mission? Before Gargarensis came to the north, Loki tricked Thor and smashed his hammer. Yes, and we have been tasked with making a new one. I have to get the haft from a piece of the top root. Itri has the hammerhead. We are supposed to meet. And if Thor has his hammer, he will seal the gate. Kronos! Finally, you are free! Yes, my reward! What? I told you! We should-
should have killed Arcantos when we had the chance. Calm yourself, worm. All is not lost. What? How can all not be lost? All of the gates have been closed. We have a plan, my friend. Yes, yes. And you get to play an important part in it. What? What plan? Arcantos. Ah, uh, where are we? Midgard. Our battles are not yet over. What of the gate? The gate is closed, but we have not stopped Gargarensis. His army is heading this way. Look! To the east! We will offer you a chance to surrender. If you give up now, we'll grant you a quick death. Otherwise, I promise you it will be long and painful. We surrender. Move a little closer. So be it. I'm glad you changed your mind. I was almost home, when I dreamt of my city in ruin, and Athena spoke to me. I know the dream. How did you find us? Well, the horrible roar and blinding flash of light were helpful. That was the end of this one's dream. And with that finished, I think we should find some ships. Home beckons. A fine idea. Ajax. You're sure you don't want to take him back to Atlantis? Put him in a cage somewhere? No. He'll never set foot in my homeland. This is for Chiron. How close are we? Very. We'll make port before the sun sets. Bring out the head of Gargarensis. Lash it to the bow. Yes, sir! What trick is this? That is Kemsit's head. Arcantos! Atlantis. Arcantos, a cyclops! He entered the Great Temple! Now do you see why Poseidon wanted me to join the Trojan War? The last gate is here! What? Kronos! Old one, give me my reward! Them and go. We're not going anywhere without you. Do as I ask, please. Take them out of here. Make sure the others get on the boats. I'll deal with Gargarensis. city is lost. Only the buildings. We rescued the people. What about our cantos? Our cantos. Awaken. dwarf named Brock was the greatest blacksmith in Midgard. Or so he thought. 
until one day when a strange old man came to visit. No one denies that you're a fine smith, friend Brock, but I heard Thor favors your young brother now. Atri? He's just a pup! Of course, Atri is no match for you, but even now he travels to the forge beneath the mountains. He plans to craft a mighty metallic beast for the god Freyr. A metallic boar? That was my idea! Atri could never dream up such a thing on his own! We were going to build that together. Pack up the camp. We're going to the forge. Meanwhile, in Itri's village, beyond the mountains. Your brother Brock is traveling to the forge beneath the mountains. He plans to build a great metallic beast. A gift for the god Freyr. No, the golden boar? We've been planning to build that for years. How dare he forge it without me? I'm sure he'll give you proper credit when he offers it to Freyr. Besides, isn't he the eldest? It's right that he speaks for your family. No, it's best that you stay home and defend your village against raiders. Stay home? And let Brock steal all the glory? No, 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 no. He's nothing without me. The old man was right. Atri's already here! Get to the forge! That youngster won't beat me! Brock! How dare you steal my idea! Your idea? That's ridiculous! Why, I... Skult! What are you doing here? Thank you for building this boar for me, little friends. You have been quite predictable. <laughs> Itri, brother, this was all the work of Loki. He fooled us into fighting each other. He's stolen Freyr's gift. We've got to get that boar back. We have entered Loki's mountains, Brother Itri. We must be cautious. There it is! The great golden boar! Loki's minions may defend it, but it belongs to Freyr. Come, we'll race an army and fight to take the beast back. So Brock and Itri recovered their magnificent beast and offered it to Freyr, who was quite pleased with the brother's invention. Loki the trickster was beaten. Years later, the dwarves would cross his path again. But that's a tale for another day. Closing some gates would be the end of this. Do you forget that I'm still here? Well, it's their nature to be forgetful. Even their gods are absent-minded. Zeus has forgotten about everyone he has locked away in Tartarus. It is time for all of us to remind him. Do as I have told you. Make way for the Titans! What? When commanding the Atlanteans, there are a few things to remember. First, their citizens are expensive. 
and take a long time to train. However, they gather and build much more quickly than other villagers. Also, rather than using drop sites, they stockpile resources instantly. Atlanteans scout and gain favor using oracles. An oracle gradually loses vision while moving, but when standing still, its line of sight grows and it gains favor faster. Oracles must stand far away from each other, or else only one of them will earn favor. Atlanteans can promote any of their human units to heroes for a price. Promoting takes time, however, so carefully plan when you wish to do so. Heroes are generally superior to regular units, but they excel in particular at fighting myth units. Oh. We cannot stay here. There are not enough trees to build shelters or, or light fires against this cold. Crops will not grow here and the savages nearby are getting bolder. The gods have abandoned us. We'd have been better off sinking with Atlantis than coming here. We must move! What's going on here? Zeno, what have I told you about getting everyone worked up? It's all right, Sergeant. He's right. We must move. How, Krios? We have no ships and no one has seen a better place nearby. The gods showed me an abandoned temple in my dreams last night. I was told it is the key to our leaving this place. We must find it. Those look like... Atlanteans? Look at this! You are truly favored, Krios, to have been shown the way to such a place. The gods have favored Atlantis but not the Olympian gods. What? Look, the symbol on the passage that brought us here. That's the mark of the Titan Oranos. Next to our settlement is a temple of his. Beside it is one to Kronos. These are clear signs. These are the gods who have led us here. Their temples are overgrown. We should restore them as a sign of our gratitude. It is forbidden. Krios is right. It's Castor. Son of Arkantos. What was Zeus doing for us back there? At least Oranos has led us here. If he favors us, we're better offering prayers to him than having none look after us. Look, they're going into the temple of Oranos. We must put a stop to this at once. Let's reclaim these temples and rebuild Atlantis. The last of them are escaping. Krios, they were Greek. Why would they attack us? Whatever the reason, it is an outrage. Get your troops together, Castor. We're in no shape to start a war now. I will get some men and go after the Greeks. But I want to find out why an old ally would suddenly attack us before we start any fighting. Move! Let the general through. You, tell the general what you told me. The Atlanteans, sir. They... They invaded the island. What? They were building a temple to Oranos. They attacked the colony. I don't believe it. Believe it or not, they set sail right after us. They will be here soon. The Atlanteans have gone mad. Send word of this to our allies. Ask them to send help. Yes, sir. Then muster our men and have them prepare a defense. If Atlantis comes to us looking for a fight, she'll get it. More treachery! The Norse and Egyptians rise up against us with these Greeks. Do they forget who we are? There are too many. We cannot fight against them here. You're going to let them get away with this? I did not say that. I said there are too many to fight here. Sailing here was an excellent idea, sir. The Norse will not be expecting an attack in their homeland now. That's the idea. Our scouts have seen only a few Norse troops around, but the terrain is rough. Many cliffs. 
They could be hiding. This is where they have built their temples. So there will be some soldiers here. Odin's temple is our target. We're going to send a message to the Norse. Have we heard back from the troops we sent to help the Greeks? Yes, my queen. They have arrived and are defending Sikyos. They say the Atlantean army is outside the city, but they are not attacking. Queen Amanra! Arkantos! I have come to warn you. You are about to be attacked by the Atlanteans. Our troops have already met them in Greece. Not in Greece, here. With your army away defending the Greeks, the Atlanteans have decided to attack you where you are now, undefended, at home. We must prepare. The Atlanteans want to teach you a lesson for standing against them. They will attempt to take the four relics you keep in these lands as a sign of their dominance. Stop them. We don't have much time. The Atlanteans will be here soon. The four ancient relics in these lands grant great blessings upon these people. What? Arkantos! They captured the relics. Yes. Take the few troops you have and go to Greece. I cannot leave my people at a time like this, Arkantos. Amonra, the Atlantean troops are being led by my son. Castor? Why would Castor attack us? He is being tricked. You must find him. He led a force like the one here against the Norse homelands and is sailing back to Greece now. Seek him there. Good timing, Castor. The troops you sent to teach the Egyptians a lesson just returned. And the Greeks in Sikios? Your trick worked! The Norse and Egyptian troops started leaving the city two days ago. They must have gotten word of your attacks on their undefended homelands. Good. We should have no problem with the city now. One more thing, Castor. Our scouts found another of Lord Oranos' passages nearby. We think it might lead behind the Greek troops. I thought you might like to lead the force that attacks through it. Indeed. Let's get started. Where are we? Well, even Krios knows how to be wrong. This passage has taken us to Mount Olympus. Captain, we cannot return the way we came. I can't believe we're on Mount Olympus. How could Krios make a mistake like this? We must fight our way to the peak of Mount Olympus. There is no other option. You, you said fight. that in Olympus... The... What is happening? Something is wrong. Olympic passage! Quickly! It is our means of escape! Be quiet back there! Amonra, what are you doing here? We have come for Castor. Us too. When I find him, I'm gonna pull his head off. No, he is not our enemy. I think he is being tricked. We must find him. What was that? What is that? That is a titan. Only the lesser ones can escape Tartarus now. But soon, they'll free the others. No, this can't be. The power of the Olympian gods was the only thing keeping the titans imprisoned. Fortunately, you went around destroying their temples and killing their followers. Now the Olympians can no longer hold them. Why would you do this?
Oh, I didn't do it, Castor. You did. There he is! Castor has betrayed us all! Kill him! Look, Castor... What have I done? It's a little late for that. Most of the Atlantean army is now under Krios' control. It will be difficult to fight them and the Titan with this small force. There are other Titans to fight. Arkantos? Father, I, I didn't know. I was trying to do what was best for Atlantis. Do not dwell on that, my son. You must fight these Titans now. Fight them? How can we fight them? These are the lesser ones. They were sent to destroy the temples and followers of the Olympians to weaken them. If that is allowed, the greater ones can emerge. So, there is a titan in Egypt. Now? Yes, and one in the Norselands. You will have allies in these places. We go to Egypt first. What are they doing? That is a priest of Osiris. He is trying to awaken a guardian. A guardian? To fight the Titan? Yes. We must defend the priest while he finishes. Some here will have sided with Krios' forces. I wish we could have brought that guardian with us. I don't think we need the guardian. This Titan looks much weaker. This is not a Titan. That's right. The Titan is over there. I am King Falstag. King Falstag? Are you fighting the Titan? Yes. I just had to get some of my men. I think they'll be able to slow him down a little. I think we should work together. I have a son. At least. Yeah, so is the entire city. Why do plants grow only in this spot? It is the work of Gaia. Gaia? Weakening the Olympians gave the Titans more power. All of the Titans. Gaia is among them, but unlike the others, she is not a destructive force. She can help us. She already is. Use her power here. You have done well. Cronus' servant is still at large, however, and he has the Atlantean army at his command. Where is he? The Atlantean colony. Yes. You must destroy him to end this. Not much of a challenge after dealing with Titans. Castor, only you can stop this, my son. Everyone. Hiding from Krios. Come, keep your eyes open. I do not see Krios, only these odd statues. What are they? I don't know. They were not here when I last saw the place. Ambush! <laughs> Krios! The Atlanteans will be torn apart by these things. We have to save them. We need to clear out the automatons.
Where are we? This is old Atlantis. Yes, fool! But it's about to become the place where Kronos takes his first steps outside of Tartarus! Look, Gaia is here. That's how we stop this. Krios is trying to escape. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> that is over. Part of it is over, Castor. The Atlanteans are without a leader now. They will need someone to look out for them, to help them rebuild. The Staff of Atlantis. All hail the son of Arcantos. Honor to Castor. Do well. Goodbye, my friends. I will see you all soon. Until then, know that I am still at your side. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get to work. Clans in Egypt unraveled. Gargarensis traveled north and rallied the giant clans to attack the Norse of Alfheim. But soon after crushing the unprepared Norse forces, the giants turned on themselves. Be gone from my domain, Fire King, or I will bury your armies in snow and ice. Return to your mountains, Fulstag, or melt in the fires of Moosebell. In the skies of morning hung, the stairways of the tallest gods, when tyranny was young. Our enemies still live, my friends. Save your anger for them! I am Regenleaf of Valkyrie of Odin. I was sent here to help you defend against the giants. Most of Alfheim is in ruin, but the giants have begun to fight among themselves. Not for long. Their one-eyed leader is heading this way. Strengthen our defenses while there still is time. Glorious victory indeed. Where is their one-eyed leader? Where the grey seas glitter, and the sharp tides shift, and the sea folk labor, and the red sails lift. Your resistance is daring, but futile, Valkyrie. The Old One will destroy all in the end. If your Old One is so deadly, he can come here himself. I grow tired of dealing with this pawn. You meddle with powers you cannot possibly imagine. I will return, and when I do, you will wish you had stood aside. We cannot take any chances. Niortzir, gather your men and track him down. Whatever he is planning, we must stop him. Aye, Lady Regenleaf. You have my word. 